It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. You're not tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they lookin' shy. No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what he do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano I wanna thank you everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV We're back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack Just like that Hope it feel good to you too, cause it damn sure feel good to me. I got my oh she ain't here today. Ah, y'all thought I going man y'all 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 uh you know we we doing an off day today. I gotta get my brother in the room and uh get him at the wood table and chop it up with him. So you know Jazz, Jazzy K couldn't be here today, but this this brother here I've been knowing him since the late nineties. Yes sir, it's been a minute. So that's like twenty what the. 20 plus. 20 plus years, yes, man. Sir. Absolutely. Shit, man. The man used to uh, infiltrate my city. Yeah, man. At, in a good way. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And he was uh, networking with my, my, my cousin, Money Waters. Yes, indeed. And, and yeah, my man, when, when Money see this, he going to lose his shit. He going to go crazy. You he going to lose his shit. <laughs> but say, man, yeah, I got man. Young Bleed in the house. Hold up. Hey. Straight out that BR. Yes, yeah, sir. Straight out that boo. Hey. Man, tell the truth. Mm. How you doing, bro? Oh, man, I can't be no better, man. You looking good. Got your fresh fresh line. Yeah, fresh face. Shout out to Mule back home, man. My, my neighborhood barber. You know what I mean? One of my mama, you know, my homeboy for a long time. But, man, he real sharp with that pen, man. Damn. <laughs> I see, you know, I ain't had to have no haircut in a long time. Look. <laughs> I see these boys putting uh, flames on niggas' hair. And yeah. All kind of <laughs> guns. Look, my, but he got you looking crispy. Uh, he, he, they call you know. They say, man, that's that Steve Harvey, man. You know, <laughs> I said, look, he went from the tone to Curtis, Curtis to the Bleezy, man. You know, oh yeah, up, some new shit. Yeah, tell so, Mr. Yeah. Bleezy. Yeah, sir, this the Bleezy right here, man. Get you one, man. Tell you know, that nigga to quit talking about this Steve Harvey. It's the Bleezy <laughs> face. Bleezy, man. Come on, man. Already, man. Yeah, that part. You been good though. Uh beautiful, man. Bless my big brother. Family good. Uh man, everything is I'm just everything. Gonna you say where you are. I'm gonna sit okay. there a little bit closer. Yes, sir. Already. Everything is everything, man, you know. And uh, I want to, you know, we, my wife normally has a protocol where she goes mm -hmm. all the way back. We want to go down through there so the family members can yeah. know Young Bleed. Memory you know, Lane. Uh, yeah, yeah. Memory Lane. Yeah. Back down memory back lane. Back Let's down go. memory Talk to lane. Him. That part. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, tell the folks where you're from. Uh, born and raised, man, the bottom of South Baton Rouge, BR, Garfield Street, a corner turn, man. Shouts out to Carlos Tucker, G Block. G Street, man, you know what I mean? So all the way from the bottom on up, man. Already. Yeah. So Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes, sir. And uh Um Tell the people about your your your, your family life. Was it, you know, was it two how two parent household, siblings, that type of thing? Um, in the beginning. Okay. Now, I'm from the broken home syndrome, you know what I mean? Already. A lot of us are. Yeah, my mom and pops, my my daddy. Um, probably was together the first maybe 11 years of marriage. I'm first born. Yes. My mother had two kids, you know. Um, my mother, it's a significant thing about my mother and my pop and my evolution. <clears throat> I'm a 74 baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, the day I was born, my mother had to, uh, what's the word I could use? Well, you know, I'm going to say it like this. The doctors approached her on this note and my papa. And it's like she had a complicated pregnancy with me. Okay. Um, we hear Pac say, man, I had three seconds of um, peace. Then it was on ever since. Mm. I ain't had that three seconds. Rest in peace to Pac, man. You see, I got Pac on my shirt. This yes. Gemini season, y'all. Seven really. one, baby. <laughs> Seven four, pound of blood, man. Yeah, pound of blood. But saying that to say this, my mother had the choice of living or dying, and me being her firstborn. Mm. When I was in the embryo, she read me Dr. Seuss. I had an uncle, you know what I mean, um, Warren Johnson. Um, from South Baton Rouge, on until he lived in Florida, Martin Day now. Yeah, yeah. But he played all the African-eccentric instru instruments, in particular the drums, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Congos and bongos. You don't play nothing plugged up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm so while I was inside, she reading me this Dr. Seuss thing. My uncle playing the drums, and she couldn't stand it because I could hear it from the inside. She said, I'd be flipping on her stump and running her nuts. And just trying, she couldn't stand him playing the drums. Yeah. So when they say rap is rhythm and poetry, yeah. I tell them this. We celebrating the 50 years of hip-hop, y'all. Yes, sir. I just left Jackson, Mississippi a couple of years ago and reunited with Dougie Fresh. Mm. We go back to the Bronx in the beginning of what this is. But saying this about my mother, <clears throat> and shots out to Asiatic Black out there, you know, Bull Rock scene, and we reconnected. Really yeah, so it was a beautiful kamikaze found the fact. But my mother had this proposition. You could live, we could save you, or we could save your child. Mm. My mother was 17 years old, and she said, you know what, I lived enough life. I just turned 49 June 6th. So when I look back, and I, my mother, oh, man, remarkable life oh, story. Yeah. One of the greatest, my God, is on the planet. Mm -hmm. And she said, look, I live enough life, I take my death, let my baby live. My mother's still here, y'all. She'll be 67 years old next month. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 So, you know, like losing your mama, man. Hey, Hold on to it, baby. You get one of them and one daddy, man. So when we talk about that, I grew my mom and my daddy. At a certain time in my life, I had a broken home syndrome. Yes. Yeah, my name, Paul, know what it is. My name was Total Darkness for a while. I still wear black loaks and khakis and yeah, <laughs> beanies and all that type of thing. And I'm a light-skinned brother. Yeah. But in a dark world, when you missing your papa, yeah. a lot of us as sons miss our papa. Yes. And mother could only do so much. So I shot out to my step-papa. Yeah. was a man from the night war in New Orleans. Okay. So my dad and my papa and my mother still here. So far as my grading in the game, you know, I go back to mama making that choice. Papa was like, hey man, look, save my wife, man. God damn it, I'll make another baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My mama laid down for me when I come here, so I ain't get that three minutes of peace. And mama said, yeah. mama said, no, 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 this happened. Yeah, said, look, bring my baby up in here, man. Yeah, and took it across the head. So from that, yeah, my life sacrifice. That's your, that's your love right and there. And what I became for us, hip hop and R.A.P. On my mom yes. and my uncle, I'm born this way. That's real. Yeah, I'm a year less. I'm born in 74, hip hop since 73, so that part. Oh, you raised up in it. Yeah, I was born in it. Huh. Oh, yeah, 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 you said born in it. Yes, yeah, sir. So uh, your other sibling, is that um, mm -hmm. that's your little brother or little sister? Um. My, my brother really actually from the concentration camp originally, Lucky Knuckles, for everybody to know Lucky Knuckles. You know? I mentioned him in a lot of raps. He owned all my records, concentration camp, and to the Cardion family. My right hand man, you know, with the, with the whole, like, y'all know what I mean? You know, Uncle P's in the building, man. So we we stitch, man. Long thread, man. Yeah. So look. Yes, yeah, my boy Uncle Polly, baby. Yeah, yeah, big brother, man. Big brother, little brother, man. Long ways all day. Me and him since Little League, man. Yeah. <laughs> since Little League, baseball shit. You know, I'm born on Garfield Street. Yeah. And it's murder blocks. He's what we, we, yeah, like anywhere else. Ain't no black and rice in here. But I'm born on Garfield Street, Paul on the street before me, Grant Street. Okay. We went to different elementary school, but we played for the same elementary. Um, Little League. Little League. Already. So since, since a baby with him and his whole family, rest in peace to his mother. Already. And his papa. So we stitch mine since baby, man. Yeah. So, his mic, turn him up a little bit. This is Mike right here. Yeah. That's cool. That's right. So, um, what high school did y'all did go to out there? We want to get props to the high school. Definitely, man. Uh, I went to two different high schools. Late in life, I said I was raised up two times. Um, with Guardia Lane being a bridge. <clears throat> My mother, in an effort um, of giving us a better life after the break apart with my papa. Yeah. She tried to, uh, my step papa come along, and what they did was aim at a better situation from the gutter, but beautiful gutter that we come from. Yeah. So Guardia Lane was a place, you go to Guardia Lane right now, it's, it's Mexico City. It was Compton first, and <laughs> that part, you yeah. know, over time. But at the time, my brothers would tell you, y'all remember when it was just the LSU bus went through that number white folks, LSU stoop. It was made <laughs> to be that, you know, the, you know, different kind of like midlife. Me and my pop say this all the time now. It used to be um, three levels to life. Rich, middle class, and poor. That was an aim toward the middle class. But now, as you know what I'm saying, it's, real. it's just like Compton. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that part. So um, it changed. How, how long do you think it took it to change like that? In them eighties, man. Eighties took it on. I'm a seventies baby, so we come from that whole Reaganomics crack up. You know what I mean? I, we grew into that evolution where we remember a time of Fat Albert, Charlie Brown, the cartoon, and just to, to be here to watch the world change yeah. in a fast time. So I say I grew up twice. I'm from South Baton Rouge to the east side of Mayfair. Shouts out to the whole Mayfair, east side and the north. And we used to have to fight about that. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So about 11 years old, 85, you know, I'm in the east side. <clears throat> So, you know, uh, in that sense of the word, you know, it gave me that kind of balance for the city and throughout, and I got family everywhere in the city. So, you know, from the bottom and the top of my neighborhood, it break down, we say this here versus the Crip and the Blood thing without the ragging, and that didn't trickle down, and they've been rooted. We were just riding, talking about that. But um, we it's more like hood, man. We all black people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Black, and we had white folks in our neighborhood, Italians, you, you name it, but, you know who from your neighborhood, the way he walk, talk, wear his shirt, you see what I'm saying? Without the rag, we knew the Park Town, we knew Glen Oaks, you know what I mean? Yeah. All that was like that. But Guardia Lane, they call G Lane now, murder block, body for body every Damn. day. I remember when we was egging houses and throwing rocks <laughs> as kids. Now they shooting Before it up. They, now they shooting it up. With, so, all, with, with assault rifles. Right. So now, like I say, my pops used to say, hey, man, you know, it's three levels of life. Rich, middle class, and poor. He said, nah, it ain't even the middle class no more. You're rich or you're poor, man. That's real. Yeah, so, you know, back to them roots, that part. So what age, well, that's, that's a crazy question. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard you talking, I was about to say, what age? Yo. Feel me what I'm about to say. I'm going with you. Did the music start coming into your life? And the embryo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real talk. <laughs> See, about four, five years old, I could play a whole drum set on my uncle. Damn. He put me on his lap. Yes. When that come, he couldn't wait for me to get out of my mother. Yes. And on his lap. So I got pictures. McKinley here, start four years old. I'm playing the congas and bungas. I used to have baby, yeah, bungos and that. Play that on the poach. Oh, really? My homeboys and brothers in the neighborhood, you knew I used to beat on the wood. When you said the wood tape, mm -hmm. we had the wood post. You know, we just yes. shoot, shoot, shoot marbles in the alleyway, man. Huh. You see what I'm they saying? They don't know nothing shoot marbles. Beat on the wood, and just since I was little, I had a Charlie Brown lick piano. When you look at Charlie Brown, he's sitting on the ground. Yes. I had that and lit baby bongos. So my whole life been this music. Oh, really? Thing on um. When, so when did you start writing? Up. I started writing officially 1983, fourth grade, nine years old. Okay. That part, I could freestyle about 82. Yes. But I had to learn. I had a poetry teacher that taught me how I am. My mother wrote poetry, aunts, uncles. My whole family was musically inclined and divine. Yes. My grandmother was the president of Sweet Home Baptist Church on yes. Kind of Street. I sung in the choir. I was in the opera before I was 10 years old, the opera choir. Damn, I read it. I was learning that hip hop was evolving. I was evolving with it. Yeah, yeah. When I heard, um, who was you listening to back then? Look, when I heard rest in peace, and we in Texas. Yeah, Wicked Cricket and Nucleus. Yes, Jam on it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Round 82, 83, Run DMC evolved with mm -hmm. that first self-titled mm -hmm. album. Yep. And Rock Box used to be my favorite <sighs> hip hop Come song on, in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run and D, you know what I mean? But. I had a song, you know, I'm this type of guy. To hear New Orleans, you're going to hear that commercial record that come on. And, you know, I remember you since 89, yeah. when we first come out here. You mm -hmm. always, yeah, with love to me, to care me. But you're going to hear it to get your attention. They're in New Orleans, and they're breaking records. You hear that? You know, if not the radio house party, wherever you get it from. <clears throat> Rockbox was the singer. The first rap, I want to say, other than the Sugar Hill game, perhaps that video on MTV for sure. Yes. I remember them times. But um, they had a song on that album called Wake Up. Mm -hmm. And as I'm learning poetry, I had to craft my poetry. Rest in peace, my, my, my auntie, George Johnson. Um, you know, used to write me a lot of poetry. Um, my uncle James um, Johnson Jr., my granddaddy. You know, everything. My granddaddy was a blues man that played piano, man. Yes. World War II veteran. He had a an old school partner named Harmonica Mold. Mm. My grandma used to fry fish on the on the on the weekend, <laughs> play yeah. cards, and they they getting down the house long for my time. Already. So I grew in the granddad and really from 74, 84, 85, he passed away. But <clears throat> before I forget, um, what I'm saying, man, try not to lose my thought. 
Um, about the music when, when you start loving it, when you start writing it. Right. So around this time, Ron, them, um, my poetry teacher, teaching us haiku poems, which is three three lines. Yeah. Real short. So I'm 19 them, and I got all this on them, and I'm learning my penmanship. They had a poetry book going around to all the elementary schools in our section that was going to our state's capital. And what I did was listen to that run. My mom, my very first rap, tape in the world was the Ron DMC tape, 1983. My mama yeah. for my birthday take me to the record store. What you want? I want this Ron DMC <laughs> tape, mama. Ten dollars, whatever it was. Yep. Boys record store, Paul. Take me to Boys, get that tape. And I learned, I love sucker MCs, rock everything. Yeah, yeah. Beginning to end. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to John Master Jack, true life. But um, wake up, something tapped into me. Ron said, when I woke up this morning, jumped out of my bed, I had some really fresh stuff going through my head. He was talking about how Mel and Mel talked in the message. I'm from a ghetto. That's what got me too, bro. Yeah, and fucked up, if you say that, yeah. environment. <clears throat> but it was a dream that if I could change the world, a Curtis Blow, if I ruled the world, mm -hmm. those type of positive things. Mm -hmm. We was having a conversation on our way here, me and Uncle P, man, and, and just saying, you know, you are what you eat pretty much. Negativity yes. gonna bring you down. You wanna hang around people. EPMD, you just say, nigga, if you hang with nine broke, nigga, get what you gonna be. The 10th one. one. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, with that that song, out of Rock Box being my favorite song, me getting the commercial world, I learned to look for the hardcore in the rock. The world gonna like the A-side, but I wanna know that carnage, that backroom yes. boy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I recreated Wake Up in my own situation, my oh, yeah. family and neighborhood situation. The Southern way. And, that part. <laughs> and, and, and wrote that as a poem. And it was one of the poems that made this pamphlet that went, that was in our state's capital. So I felt like this, if I could reach our state capital at nine years old, imagine what I could do if I hang around and stay on this. Oh beat. yeah. So I've been writing since nine, nineteen. Practice made perfect. Yes, sir. That People don't part. realize that. I just turned forty nine, so more than half of my life. So ten years minus the, the fifty mm -hmm. years ago, forty years I've been on this pen, my forty, forty one. So yes, you sir. so you've been writing, writing, writing. When did when was the first time you decided to step into the studio and hit that booth? Um, nineteen eighty five be two years later. Okay. I mean, You're a young, young dude. Yeah, we're 11 years old. I really. I've been recording since 11. Who hooked you up with that? I mean, you had to be an older person. Or, or. I had a homeboy, man. Uh, like I said, we from the bottom and the top. My yeah. great grandmother moved to the top. Okay. Around that time. But she was right off Garfield Street. We lived in four shotgun houses. My great grandmother, my mom and daddy house when they married, and two of the neighbors, neighborhood neighbors. You know what I mean? I really. But uh, when my grandma Goldie moved from the bottom to the top, I go stand atop with her for the summer, me and my little brother, that type of thing. And we got cousins in them projects, 16th, 17th Street projects. You know, the birthplace of Tyrus Thomas, if you remember Tyrus Thomas from the Chicago Bulls. I remember that name. And LSU, yeah, that's my young cousin. You know, he, he's six foot, a baby big foot. You know what I mean? But in those projects for those in our city. So I go to the top. <clears throat> and young, I had that sound man, musically inclined. My older cousin, they knew what time it was with me. Yeah. Other cats just say, man, what's wrong with your little cousin, man? Is he retarded? <laughs> so I walk through the projects with my head like this here, and I hear music like I'm mixing on two turntables. I'm jamming while we walking to the corner stuff. Yeah. What's wrong with him, man? Nigga crazy? Nah, that nigga hear music all the time. So I had a homeboy that was light as me with hazel eyes, but we, the nigga name was Black. <laughs> so Black said, you serious about that music? I said, yeah, man. He said, bro, I know an old guy in Glen Oaks. You know what I mean? Another area in Baton Rouge. Um, his name Tommy Jefferson. That got a home studio, bro. You know, if you serious, bro, this is number, this, that, and the other. So I rush off and tell my mother. Yes. Hey, look, whoop, 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 whoop. It's a place I can record. But keeping in mind, my uncle had homeboys and bands and festivals he paid, played in. He moved to Miami in the 80s. That taught me the drums. So yes. Unk gone, few other unks around. But as far as my sit on his lap and learn how to really put my hands on it, you know. Yeah. Um, He had left. So later on, I see some of his partners that had neighbor studios in the hood that I wasn't aware of. So I went way outside the hood to Glen Oaks on the strength of my guy, Black, and started recording with Tommy Jarvis in 1985. Oh, really? Rest in peace, you know. You yes, know, sir. Some things happen. 
but um, in time. So since 1985, I've been recording. I ain't never stopped recording ever since. CeeLo. Yeah, yo. Here we go. Let's talk about CeeLo. <laughs> yes, sir. How did you meet Brother CeeLo mm. with the concentration camp? Actually, man, uh, we grew up together minus elementary school and preschool. Okay, I figured We're that. We're from the same neighborhood, but he went to different elementary schools than me. Okay. Yeah, so. Him and Paula went to the same school? Um, I want to say, Paul, y'all went to the same elementary, right? Pope. I read. Yeah, Pope. I went to University of Terrace in Highland Elementary. I read. Paul, I don't even, well, now that I think that, because he played after school at UT. So some kind of way we was on the same baseball team, <laughs> but he, go, excuse me, you went to UT for a little while. You transferred to UT, that's what that was. I read it. Okay, since elementary school, he's telling really. me something new because I never knew that. We okay. always knew each other in the neighborhood. From the hood. Then, but we Mo was close because after school, baseball, Little League. But Lok, I didn't know till middle school. Okay. By this time, I moved from the neighborhood. It's 85. Okay. Right in this same evolution. I'm in the sixth grade, Kenilworth Middle. I meet Lok. Lok like a year older than me. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So he was always, you know, big brother, street brother. And we was cool, you know. Um, yeah, if I was eleven, he was twelve. Okay, but I was the I was freestyle balances eighty two on the. He already knew about you round. rapping, right? So he was my DJ in middle school. Okay, that okay. part. Okay, see, but no turntable. We never did talent shows. <laughs> that was just a room around the school. But really, was my big home. I read it, and then we had some problems. Low, and I don't take nothing from nobody. See this tall I got? Yeah. I watched him wrap this around his hand. <laughs> and social studies, something great to not knock you out. If you fucked with him, then they're going to knock your ass out and put you to sleep. If you had a problem with me, if I would talk to you and I'm talking to you like this at yeah. one time, this is how close we were. Say, bro, I went to the party, bro, how this happened? Wow, we're going to slap the fuck out of you because you didn't. That's the love we grew from. Yeah. His mother and my mother went to high school together before we born. Okay. So we stitched without knowing we stitched. Oh, really? So that type of thing. and He was a knockout artist, huh? Yeah. I and the cool, he ain't fuck with nobody. It was cool. You know, he was a real nigga. Yeah. No doubt. You know what I mean? But that ain't what you wanted to cross at the time as a kid. Yes. You no. Know, I, 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 I could tell you a million stories, and I'll tell you that on another day. But you know, Paul, you know what it is. Since five years old in middle school, yeah, I, uh, homies and family, they whooped the teachers. Whooped two principals, they got to call the police, man. Yeah. Our middle school didn't have no windows. I'm probably kind of work. I go around the country, and everybody else say, but y'all, it's like, it was like. We got one up here like this, too, D.A. Hussey. D.A. Hussey. Over there in Oak Cliff. Now you, unless you got P.E. outside for that first You don't see the sunlight. Man, you Dracula at the end of the day. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. Pat. Learning, when I learned in time, that certain level of darkness, it's like not giving a flower sunlight. Mm. So we was welcome to the terror dome when I, mean I was in middle school. You know, I, ambulances, we, you look back now, we 11, 12, and 13 years old, man. Yeah. We babies, so that type of shit, we grew into that world. Yeah. I'm rap battling on the, the, the lunch, fuck the lunch, I'm battling niggas, two, three <laughs> niggas, yeah, eating, yeah, since, yeah. And he was one of the big homies that was right behind me, but that ain't you know, he ain't just my big homie, my DJ, and we had street wars. Yes. You know, if he had come stay with me and my mom and them for the weekend in Mayfair, we had to fight the Mayfair niggas. We were from South Bend Rule. Okay. It wasn't accepted. And eventually it's all love nine days, but that type of stitch when you really. ask about low. I really to where we had nine, that's a different story. But um <clears throat> eventually we grew up street wise and otherwise. We'll formulate the concentration camp. He had his label, but I was really putting tapes up. Okay. And I think he kind of got this a little confused. Look, I'm going to say this for the record. I just said it. I've been recording since 85. You wasn't recording at all, big brother. True life. You was my DJ, and you ain't. You wasn't even on this. I love you. But I'm going to tell the people the truth, man. That part, that's our true evolution. I, really? I, ain't, I don't get no money for that. I really? You see what I'm saying? So to let you know how deep we go back. And events, I saw him a tape in Alaska Arms, white label tape. When I had tapes, I was on the radio, WXOK, man, before 94.1, man. Oh, really? Yeah, that part. So later on, 
a year or so, I guess he was still evolving. We separated as teams. Okay. No gotcha. plex and none of that mm -hmm. shit. Just grew and, apart. Yeah, we grew apart. Then we come back because I moved back to the neighborhood and had my own crib, 16, 17, or whatever, you yeah. know, tell you a million story. Um, so eventually <clears throat> we run back across each other. We hustling and all that. He doing his thing, I'm doing mine. Say, but you still, yeah, man, I'm still on this. Woo, woo, woo. I'm working on who's going to ride. Okay, yeah. We start getting back together and bringing, we started reconnecting. And um, from that, you know, everything else evolved from C. Lo Ruckley and Evander to the camp. 1998. Yes, sir. My balls and my word. Oh, boy. Let's talk about the recording process of that album. Oh, we got to go back before 98, man. Oh, let's go. Yeah, like 90, 96, 97. Okay, 96, 97. Well, it was released in 98. Um, yeah, the boss is my word, the okay. whole, but, but the whole, when you say the recording process. Okay. Um, and I'm going to keep it something, I'm going to keep it at that. Quick briefing. Um, we were actually have been recording that record and just kind of pitching around uh, since the, the, the first um, self-titled concentration camp compilation. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> we finally had did a record out the Sea Loke records. You know, he, he did like the Who's Gonna Ride record. He did um, the whatever record was sucker. And yeah. two so, um, solo records. So as, he, you know, we always evolve and a few other cats was coming around. Shots out to Lay Low, Happy Perez, Matt Manella, Jay Vaughn. Yeah. And my brother Lucky Knuckles and eventually Grawl and Eddie Boo Rossini. We was evolving as a clique. Um, so I said, man, we need a name that solidify all of us. You know what I mean? Mm hmm you know, that's just not c Loke records. Other than that, it was c Loke everything. We yeah. was in support of Big Bro and all that type of thing. But um, I, I started to see the moth for that. So, you know, I'm a Dub C and a Mad Circle fan. Uh, I really I'm rip. Shout out to Dub C. Come on, man. Peace, Coolio, rest in peace. You don't work, you don't eat, man. You don't work, you don't eat. Huh. Man. Believe, believe. So that part. They don't know about that, dude. Right. But you like how you was, you know, hipping me to your logo, the super tight. You were going to remember this. That, that mass circle was an earth with a um, barbwood and a barbed wire fence. Yep. So that looked like a concentration camp to me. Mm. So it really sprang from from that. Okay. My evolution to how you do that there really sprang from King T. You know, Taz is my man's in real life. Shots out to all the alcohol. Oh, really? Taz? Taz. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> when I'm saying, uh, you remember the act of fool, King mm -hmm. T, the, mm -hmm. the, the the saw it off, peeled the grip on yeah, the yeah. the Daytons, the written the Daytons in the Cadillac on, on the cover, man. Dragging it home. Yeah, drag. <laughs> <laughs> people, I try to tell my people about King T, man. King T, man. Don't get the Shit. first Compton when you talk. The funky Compton. piano. Nigga. Yeah, the funky <laughs> piano, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah know about yeah. King T, man. Yeah, they know Compton in WA, but we know Compton King T yes, first. Yes, yes. First yeah, part and of foremost. Mix them out the spade and them yes, niggas, man. Yes. The real OGs. And you know, nothing against his, his evolution. But that was my moth, L.A. We call Louisiana baby L.A. Yeah. But L.A. to L.A., L.A., L.A. to the Bay, man. I really. And then when you know your roots, American history. Mm -hmm. Me and Dad say, you know, shit, California and the South is more like cousins. Yes. We click, you know, you Texas is the gateway to the West. And nothing mm -hmm. against nobody else. That's just with the truth here. Oh, yeah. You know, and on uh, shot solid just was with Dougie Fresh. I love all the OGs. No, we ain't on the Plex. It's love. I would say, I would say you... More like what you just said, the South. Yes, sir. Because Mississippi. Yes, sir. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Texas. Mm -hmm. And Oklahoma. Original old South. Boy, they, they fed. Yes, sir. California. Yes, sir. I mean, that was the California rush. Man. You know what I mean? That that, gold those rush. states. Yes, the, sir. I mean, well, we wasn't going for no gold. <laughs> <laughs> Not no brother. The we great going for, migration. Man, well, I think yeah. we were trying to get, get away from this racism. It's south. Yeah, yeah we were trying to get away from this racism, right. bro. They and, uh, say the only people stayed here, this is what I'm told, um, was too ignorant to leave. You know I couldn't what afford I mean? Too scared and couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford yeah, it, yeah. But as soon as we got a chance, got the hell up out this yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I often wonder why a lot of people stayed, like our ancestors and our parents and everything. Ignorance. Like or yeah. lack of funds. And lack of funds, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Or they could have saved up. Yeah, could have right. been. Could you right? Could have been ignorant. Right. Not, well, not, the ignorant part is this. You could take my 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 pop always tell me this here. Don't be the donkey chasing the cat. I was like, what the fuck? Donkeys don't go in the ground and eat. Hold up, I had to picture it. But picture a man on the back of a donkey. Yeah. The donkey is one of the most stubbornest yeah. animals on the planet. He ain't gonna move for shit. And if he grounded right there, I'm gonna move. I ain't worried about the realm. I'm gonna stay right. I've been here so long. 
Mm. Like an old oak tree. I ain't looking to go nowhere. Yeah. But he'll chase that carrot if you get on his back and take a fishing pole and put it right in front of his face. He'll spend his life thinking he's going to catch up with it. going to be the donkey chasing the carrot, Mike. That's real. That part. That's a hard one. Yes, yeah, sir. So the concentration camp is forming. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Boo Rousey. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Man. And y'all Shout got, out to Happy Perez. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I mean, and everybody else in the concentration yes, camp, man. Definitely. So y'all, y'all are doing the recording process. Yeah. How you do that there came out first. Yeah, that's my first solo contribution to that concentration camp album. Everybody other than supporting a C-Loc record and we featuring on his solo project. Yes. Everybody had the opportunity to make their own solo record. I read it. And birth us as a click. I read it. Originally called The Fool, because when I was making the record of the King T. Act, The Fool, then I, I said, it. you know, when people hear it, they're going to say, man, that shit a fool. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh. Now, I really was going to sign for the King T. You better get ready. I'm finna hack on, dun, 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 trying to get to a watch. Yeah, yeah. But I, instead of sampling, I see it. You know what I mean? So that's your whole every time you hear that. Uh, niggas know it's on the cool, but you know we about to act a fool. But that's yes. the whole inspiration to that rock. Already. Yeah, it's that different is. ingredients and elements that make the literature. Super thought exclusive. Yes, yeah, sir. That part, the beat and everything. Who Damn. did the track? Happy? Me and Happy. Really, gotcha. Paul in here. You know, and they, they yes. debating this. And I love my brothers, man. But y'all get credit where credit do for. I come, you know, I pull a belt off my hand. Don't get me twisted. Yeah, you I don't know we spent $20. Them. They ain't know nothing about Parliament and one of those funky things, man. I come from my pop and my uncle and them crates, man. So let me tell you this. something. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Hold on, hold yeah. on. I finna, I finna add on to what you saying. Yes, sir. People don't realize, we do now. Yes, sir. With the education that we have now. Yes, sir. But people, I told Steve Below this. Yeah, that's my man's too. Shouts out Steve B. Oh, yeah, we gonna talk about Son him in a little brother. People don't realize... If an artist comes with his samples mm -hmm. and has any kind of input mm -hmm. while you're sitting there making that track, yeah, that's a co-producer. That's a co-producer at the very least. Yes. Yeah. You, you. I mean, because you didn't come up with the sample idea. No. And if I'm helping you, a hey, change that hi hat to this hi hat or that snare to this snare, you know, that's that's co-producing. Let me, let me add and back then, we just didn't know that. Right. Because we didn't know how to push the buttons. How to push the buttons and how to write it in the paperwork. But <laughs> yeah. I only know this shit. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, you giving them the everything? No, I played it. That's public in my Uzi was a ton. Yes. And the rock steady from Aretha Franklin. I'm out the crates, man. I'm mixing the 70s yeah. with the hip hop drum. I'm a DJ nigga too since 12 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I feel you now. Man, we put, no, don't do that to me, man. Cause this man ain't gonna tell you. Cause he was there. We was we, we did it on the apartment on the floor with no money. My my my, my cut it. Shots out to Savage Sosa, Lil Gary. That's Max Manetta and them cousin, man. I knew Max Manetta loved me. Y'all my little brothers, man. I read it. I've been doing this since the '70s, baby. Mm. Come on, man. The time tell on you, man. Yes. Time tell on you. All man. the time. Yeah, that part. So you hear what I just? Mm hmm. Rock steady. Without looking. Nah, mm -hmm. my Uzi well turned drum, but with the ah, the rock, yeah. that's the rock steady. Mm -hmm. Earth, wind, and fire. Yeah, yeah, that's Earth, wind, and fire. No, that's Parliament. That's off the same one of the funky thing, but the yeah, 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 I could, I ain't got to write it, man. Yeah. Come on, man. I gave Hap the credit because he helped me design. I didn't know this, the, the, the programming. I could beat on the wall and beatbox battle, man. I ain't go to school for this music. My so he did everything blind. you said. Yeah, I played the drums. We went by, I sent the record so they could hear the Parliament record. He played the bass line over. Then he added that, he added his own thing. So yes. I, if anybody I give credit to, either producing and co-producing, I'm the written producer because it's my brainchild. Me and him, then beats by the pound enhanced. So gotcha. I don't take nothing from nobody. That's just the true story, man. Y'all oh, yeah. quit playing with me before I come talk about your man. Come, y'all know what it is. That's why y'all say, "Come on, we ain't gonna get into that, Bobo." But we know, man. For you and I, yeah, you can tell the people, yeah, man. I'm gonna leave it at that. Don't hurt my mama's soul like that, man. Mm. That part. Oh God. When last time man. you seen him? Help. I saw help. I talked to help about a month ago on the gram, and we um saw each other. Some years back at a South by Southwest. Okay. You know, and uh, damn near cry with each other. But this the thing, man. We so stitched. You know what it mean, this, man. It ain't about money and girlfriend. Man, call me sometime, man. If yeah, I, yeah. I ain't no part of nothing mm -hmm, ever. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't got you a sandwich. I ain't come on, man. Paul know I'm the I'm the bread and the thread because ain't nobody else was getting paid. I got the bag and broke it down with us. Yo. Not low. I'm gonna keep it gully with you, Cuddy. All day. You know what it is, man. That part. I ain't got to talk about it. Ain't no bragging rights in heaven, man. I ain't living for that. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the truth, the man. The truth, yes. That's all. That's all I want. Don't play with me, man. While I'm here, man, I watch what people do to pock, nip, and then when you're dead, nigga be scared to wipe their ass, Bobo. Rest in peace to pimp. Yes. Ain't talk all that shit when the nigga going in. was here, you you was scared to talk to him. I'm the last of that, man. Yeah. Don't play with me. I'm going to come talk to you. Ghost rock. Hey, man. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to keep it, yeah, I'm going to keep it neat and discreet, but that's my I emotion. Mean. Cause I saw that half, and I got a song I'm doing right now called a glass coffin. These niggas treat you like Cinderella in the coffin, and they walking over you and kick. Yeah, where we from in Baton Rouge? We say niggas pour dirt on you before you dead. Oh, you man. Did. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, come on, man. Hmm. Anything anti that you ain't on the guard side of thing, man. Yeah, man. Wipe your ass with him, man. Why? Yeah. Trust that. Everything else is gravy. That's what I mean from that boy team, man. Yes, up. <clears throat> So how you do that there is out there rolling. Yes, sir. I'm talking about it's rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. So much to the point, it kiss Master P. Yeah. Talk about right. that. Right. Well, you know, them being the head of the fashions, you know, c Loke Records and No Limit Records, you know, salute to my big brothers. They was more in cahoots with each other. They yeah. had the connection. I'm yeah. still in the back room with the boys and we working, you know. Mm -hmm. We making the digital dope shit, you know what I mean? Yes. The label heads, they yeah. got together. Right, they done got together. And that record took off for me. Shouts out to my big brother, Jewel Jackson, the 94.1. We helped birth that radio station. I did him a special version. I'm stitch for stitch, man. Yeah. Me and Jewel had groups. When Jewel was playing commercials at the baseball radio station in Plaquemine and in Port Island when I was a kid. So I had certain roots with the radio guy. I read it. You see what I'm saying? Yes, like how you what you was doing here mm -hmm. from the AM station to the yeah. Oh no, that was FM. Okay, okay. That yeah. was FM, baby. Okay, 89.9. 89.3. You know. FM, baby. Okay, okay yeah. We was last on the FM dial. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, but on the FM dial, mm -hmm. I always start that because I think underground up. AM yes. plus, the, I want the best of both worlds. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the popping AM station, where we was, it was WXOK. Okay. Um, Q um. With what, Paul? Um, Q106 was our FM station. Gotcha. Then 941 birthed Jewel Jacks. Okay. Jewel was already my big dog. We had a group together. We used okay. to make records and do talent shows. And shouts out to our homegirl, Katina King, of the Frog and Mo Project. She was our yo yo, or MC Light. Her name was D Light. I read it. What I was, Vicious on the Mike Young, she was my alter ego as a female. Gotcha. Yeah, and Jewel was my she at now? I hadn't talked to her in years. Me oh, and really? Jewel just recently reconnected and we doing things. I got a documentary coming out. Shouts out to my cousin uh, Frog for Picture Perfect on um, studio. We oh, shooting really? the Young Bleed documentary. So I'm finna bring all that to the table oh, really? and let people know what the truth That's is. That's gonna be dope. But I'm looking for my home girl. She actually moved from Louisiana to Texas years ago. So, you know. Y'all can find her. Yeah, Katina King. Yeah, Katina yeah. King, yeah. reach out. Reach MC out. Delight, man, way back then. <laughs> but, but that kind of thing, so with Jewel being in that kind of position, gave me a catap catapult in the alley because I have already did my work with guys. Gotcha. So when we got in positions, I'm going to call you like you call, like when I'm coming in, I'm going to see you. Mm -hmm. And my casa su casa the other way. Yes, sir. And that's just, you know, real niggas do real things, yeah. bro. And don't change. So that's how we do. We say 10 plus years. Yes. I come out here in 04. We knew each other just in the past and for then, mm -hmm. but Dallas became my second home in 04. Yeah. November yeah. 2004, yeah, November 4th. I'll never forget because I spent the night and didn't count it. Come on mm. vacation and <laughs> leave on probate. Welcome yeah. to Texas, man. Welcome to Texas. That part. So, yeah, my brother. <clears throat> so, when Master P got involved, mm -hmm. what did they tell you? What was the words that were said? Um, Actually, Paul come to me and say, you know, P num, you know, want to do like a remix to this joint. You know what I mean? A couple of dollars, a possible trip to California, yeah. deal with priority records. Okay. Hey, man, I'm still working a day job hustling in, in Baton Rouge. Oh, really? Yeah. Everything, everything sound good. I'm, I'm rolling some lime rocks one day in the wheelbarrow, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny nigga. My, and we still had the inner link beat. Yeah. My shoulders... And my body felt light as a month of light. Something just lifted off me. Look at my beep with this paw. My belly going to the office, you know what I mean? And use the phone, definitely. 
Hey, bro, you want to go to California? Yeah, man, what's happening? Well, they've been working on this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I work two J day job. <clears throat> Either construction in the daytime or this apartment complex with Webby, we know each other because he was a kid there when I was there. That's a different story. But daytime, I do that work at Pizza Hut at night, leave Pizza Hut and go to the studio and record yeah. a few records, wake up all over again. Yeah. And, uh, the Red Wheel, the yeah, Red Race. Yeah, yeah, hustling, you know, on the in between. So P hit me like, hey, man, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. So I go in the office. I never gave a job or two week notice because that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. And look, I've been working on y'all all my life. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to take a chance to go to California for the weekend. If it don't work out, I'll be back to work I'll be, be here Monday. <laughs> they wished me the best, and the rest was history. Real. I took a plane trip to California, man, and yeah, I mm -hmm. never looked back. Did that happen? That, that song went gold. Well, what I want to say, the song is platinum, because you got to keep this in mind. It's on the body soundtrack when you say 98. The yes. body soundtrack is the summer of 97. Oh, okay. It's already cracking. It's already cracking. Yay. So, so you the had time, to split sales. Yay. Yeah. So when I drop, it's golden officially in three weeks, because it ran from, from June. Oh, nigga, that was, shot a, the video. That, was a, that was a song of the summer. Yeah. Uh, Come on, the man. body soundtrack. Come body on, bro. movie, that type of that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Number. Yeah, I'm a kid. I wake up six in the morning, man. It's three buses of bitches, <laughs> a big ass yacht, yeah. Uh, Bentley right here, a little raft, cause you know you can't bring the yacht to the beach. We in yeah. Malibu, some fucking where, man. I'm still getting used to California. I don't wanna. Uh, at first, I didn't smoke weed, cook it, all that shit. Hold up, man. Yeah. This three months after the death of B, right round the corner. Yeah. Six months after the death of Pop. I'm 22 years old. I'm turning 23 in 97. Yeah. That's how I know it. Because that was like a birthday life gift for me. Yeah, yeah. June 6th. We in June right now. Mm. That's how it happened that many years ago. So it was mind-blowing. As a young nigga, I'm thinking this, man. Fuck that weed. I don't want no drink. Man, it, that, that's, that's, a, that's a suburban limousine, man. This shit fast. And, you know, I'm from Louisiana, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. My mom used to kick me out of California as a kid because my mom was going to get killed in the blood and crip shit in the 80s. Yes. I ain't teeing family out there. My mother wouldn't let me go 11, 12 yeah. years old. So 10 years later, when you're talking 12, I'm 22 now. <clears throat> and now I got the purpose, and everything is everything. Too short is there. I just talked to Short recently. I read it. I told him you were part of short. my christening, man. Because I saw Short in Baton Rouge. He opened up for us one night. Well, God saw fit. By the time I started going to Cali, Ann Banks had that sitting on some fat album. He yeah. started working on his dish, shop down there, drinking up, doing whatever he was doing. I'm tell, tell Paul, Paul, come in and tell you the same shit. I said, nigga, that's too short. So I jumped in and laced me up a little bit, talked to him, and number love. We got records together. He was just recently on the Rock the Bell station, the LL station, and he yep. gave us a whole Louisiana day, y'all. He got a show on there, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what that is. And somebody, Jewel Jackson, called him. So everybody really? shot on here talking about you. Everybody shot out my homie Young Bleed. The first song he played was the original How You Do That, The Act oh, wow. Fool. Mm -hmm. and, and I made my guys that I know, you know, shots out to Juju out here. Yeah. I hear Juju and his manager, Poet, man, tell Shout, man, hey, what, 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 I'm looking for him. Fam Life Juju. Yeah, Fam Life I really Juju. shout out to my brother. Absolutely, our brother. And I done been in um, Atlanta with Shout, recording for Time and Money. Me, him, and Pimp was supposed to be on Time and Money. Rest in oh, peace to our brother. But Pimp, when I was going to Atlanta to fuck with Short, Pimp was coming back to Houston. We passed each other on the slack. Mm. So that almost happened. The yeah. only Pimp C and Young Bleed record we got, y'all, and we had a million plans, um, is Bring the Noise. Mm. He Pimp produced that, and you, you know it, because you yeah, know yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow, the guitars and the... Yeah, that's a Pimp track that was either for a 504 Boy record or a Mystica album. Me and Pimp talked about this, and... 06 and 07 before yeah. he passed. He said, I'm glad you got that record. You know, I was from the sign with UGK Ruckers. Mm. Yay. So to the grave, man, that, that kind of shit. That nigga was building the army, wasn't he? Huh? He was building the army, wasn't I'll he? Be, oh, man, untouchable. Sebo. Sebo. Yeah. MC8. MC8, too. <laughs> hey, our guy, too. Yeah, man, they got our own connection, but I didn't know that. I knew with Bo, because me and Bo oh, was yeah. out here together. Oh, yeah, MCA came through Mile. Dallas, and they had child. I don't know if A was going to do it, Yeah, I'm, but I know the conversation was, was oh, being had. That, that was lovely, oh, man. They, they recorded something together. Yeah, I ain't never And lost the that. file. Oh. You know him and Bo was doing that album with Mike D and all that in Houston. 
around the, the, the All Star weekend that time. He got tracks for Sebo. Yeah, Bo got a few of them with Pimp. They start. They made a few rockers. I the ball here nut. Yeah, man. So that type of thing was happening when me and Bo was working on the rocking, and Pimp came home, and he come to me like a real big brother and said, "Look, you know, hey, bro, Pimp." Gonna do a rocker with me. I let y'all do that and just put me on the rocker, goddamn. Yes. So Bo called me to Mike D house when I never might met, uh, met Mike D, but he had went to sleep by the yeah. time I got to the All Star Weekend. That's when me and Pimp reunited. I Mike D or Mike Dean? Mike Dean. Mike gotcha. Dean. Yeah, yeah, Mike Dean. I'm saying Mike D, but my, I fuck with Mike D with, with Zero too. Yeah. Man. All family, man. You know. Um. So. Um. Yeah. That. That's what we was working on, bro. Mm-hmm. And just. Uh, um. Unfortunately, that happened in an untimely mm. fucking way with Pimp, man. I cried a thousand tears, my nigga. Boy, the, the industry yeah. would be shook up if that boy was still here. I ain't say, bro. The plans that he had? I mean, Sebo especially. Look. You, Sebo. Right. I want to oh, go to this shit for what we talking about right now with Pimp. When I came here, I say, man, you know where this picture come from? Where that picture come from? Let me take you all the way there. That's in Milwaukee. Already. At the clothes store with Pimp and King. Shout out Pimpy King. Pimpy King, Uncle Pimpy, I called him. He kept me and Pimp was all had our own connection. Pimp, I had a homeboy that daddy was the sheriff of Crowley, Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, nigga don't know the Pimp from Crowley, man. Pimp was from Crowley. I had to go do my thing in Crowley. My daddy, you know, my partner daddy was the sheriff, but we I didn't did. know in that time. I had have bat old man in the back room. Say, bro, you know Chad? Max Manetta name is Chad. I got a lot of homeboys and street brother named Chad. Yo. Yeah, I know what Chad talking about. Chad Butler, man, he's a 60-year-old man. This before I got all the way on. Yeah. And we'll come do a show in Lake Charles and Lafayette. Pimp and Barn are sent for me down the street. Mm. This before I'm on. I'm like, I got 40 niggas with me, so I just can't do this. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, man, we had a lot of aim. I, I, I'm going to say this for the record. This is exclusive for you, Bo. Come on. Super tight exclusive. When I did my, my own record, <laughs> if I done knew what I knew now, bro, and this one of my regrets in life. Pimp say, say, bleed. <clears throat> Nigga, I do produce the whole record for you for 10 racks. I come to Atlanta with me, mama, and him a talk on the phone for years, but yeah. I never met Pimp face to face. So I'm on tour with Priority like 90, 98 or so. Yeah. MJG doing the No More Glory shit. He's yeah. solo. Twister backstage, MJG, Thorough, we all in this place in Atlanta. Yeah. I'm there passing through to do a few records. I got to be the Chattanooga the next morning. So while I'm back there fucking with MJG, and I'm thorough, and I'm twisting, and I'm blind, my big ass, my cousin, rest in peace, Freddie Glau. They nerved up. They, we on some Hennessy, nigga. Nigga bought us a gallon of Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> gap. We backstage, we chilling. And the nigga say, say, bro, bleed pimp on the holler. Just say, what pimp? It's when he was moving to Atlanta. Yeah. In Atlanta, backstage. Mm-hmm. Say, pimp, see. I said, nigga, you bullshit. Where pimp at? You know, I saw a pimp. They got on some jean shorts. He looked like an it instead of how niggas, the pimps and the colors. Yeah. You know pimp. That was your dog. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Dog. Yeah, yeah. They got on some cut off Levi jean shorts, a white t shirt, and some specs looking like an educated thug educated. You know, with the ball here. Niggas wear polos. And polo, yeah, <laughs> yeah, all day. Kind of yeah. look like college students, college so the cops wouldn't pull us over. Look, yeah, real shit. Real studious. Real shit. <laughs> but this is what he say to me. He say, please, man, what you doing, nigga? You know, he talk. Come to the house, nigga. I got beats, sweets, freaks, and draw in the freezer. I say, fuck, pimp. I got to be the Chattanooga. I'm on this tour. Yeah. And I ain't get to go by the house. And he offered me. I was trying to put him on time and money. Yeah. With me and Too Short. Mm. And, that, and I was at the end of recording that record. But yeah. If I know what I know now, he called me way more to do that record than what he charged me to produce that record. I bet. So I miss things like that. Rest in peace to, to Chad, my nigga. Oh, I had a situation like that as well. Huh. Yeah, we did a, um, you remember the, the, the album, the Big Al featuring Bubba had the Already on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he first heard that, yeah, he offered to do all the drums over. Yes, Because indeed. that was all computer generated drums. Yes, sir. And he wanted my name to be on top. Yeah. And at that time, Big Al wasn't feeling that. So he yeah. said no to Pimp C. He said, y'all can use my name. Yeah. Yeah, he said no yeah. to Pimp C. Yeah. I was like, ooh, that'll change the game. Phenomenal yeah. brother, my brother. Yeah, he was. Our brother. He said, I'll redo it free for you, Bobo. Yeah. 
that kind of I guess the drums. And that kind of talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that sounded so familiar yes, sir. when you said that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, 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 I was one of the mishaps of... Yeah, the time, you know, here today, one day you're here, one day you're gone, we talk about you and that song. Yeah, yeah. And rest in peace to 3 2, two. that was man. my guy. It was funny, when brother. you see that, and how we talking, Bobo, yes. the world get a mere glimpse. Yeah. But when you done know and you rock like this here, yeah, man, that, hey. It's different. Yeah, it's different. That's why I try to tell, that's why I tell my people, when people say they knew him, mm -hmm. and try to come off like, they really, really knew him, mm -hmm. I say, well, you know, it's 365 days in a year. Yes, sir. And I understand that that's PMC. Yes, sir. And you spend 14 days with him out that whole year. That's a lot of yeah. days to you. Yeah. But it's 365 days in a year, in my a nigga. Year. And, and several years. Yes, and, and, and when I was seeing him yeah. multiple times, you know what I'm saying? Every day. Every day, day. Yes, sir. For two, three years. Yes, sir. And, and yeah. outside of them years, I mean, more than 14, 14 you know what I'm yeah. for sure. And I and I know a lot of niggas that they, they, they be out there on the um on the internet mm -hmm. and they uh doing these interviews and they like, oh man, I really, 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 really knew Pimp. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really that's my that was my me and Pimp was best friend. Yeah. Come on, bro. We cloud chasing, man. Yeah, they, they, a lot of people cloud chasing. Yeah, don't everybody know who Pimp best friend was. Yes, sir. Everybody know everything. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So anybody yeah. that's trying to elbow, uh, I, but I don't say nothing. To them because that's their truth. Yeah, yeah, let them have it. That's their truth. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's the so, oh that yeah, let them have it. Yes, but sir. but everybody in the clique mm -hmm. that was in the real clique. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pimp didn't never take you to Crowley to meet his grandmama. Right, right. That part you. Yeah, I've even yeah. been over there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. So I've been over there two, three times. Yes, sir. You so, in the family? Yeah. So Pimped I don't. Yeah, so yes, sir. that's type of stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, I'm we I'm knowing before cooking on the side of the house on on on, on a uh, sand jack. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Yeah, if you, if if one thing y'all know about a Streetport Avenue, yeah, after sand jack, no, 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 or or Jimmy Johnson, yeah, no, 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 yeah, stop it, around, yeah, yeah, stop it, but but that's their truth. Yes, sir. I had to get that out like you had to get that up, you know. Right, let, let them do what they do. I yeah, ain't, yeah. Ain't in no competition. There ain't no pissing contest, man. No. But you, for, for the world that need to know, the children and the elder, to tell the truth, man. That's yeah. all. It's a lot of people like to get on these interviews for um for their popularity, and they'll say That's anything. What? Yeah, everybody can't. Corrupt told me this. Shouts out to the dog. I believe Shout everybody out can't handle the success. They can't. A mirror or a camera. No. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Especially if you're talking about somebody that's passed. Yeah, right. So it's like, yeah, it's yeah. my story. You got to believe it. You, you know what I'm saying? It. You can't go ask that person. Hey, what Hitler said a long time ago, you tell a lie long enough. And it becomes the truth. It becomes the truth. Yes. Master P took that song. Yes, How sir. you do that there. Yeah, man. You were able to get a situation from that. Yeah. Priority. Deal with seven, seven album situation, Bobo. Yeah. Can you talk seven. about that deal? I mean, it's, like, it's yeah, late. Yeah, I mean, it's Did it's, they put some money in your pocket? Did they? Of course. You know what I mean? I say this for the record. I signed for over six figures, man, you know, in 1997, 22 years old, dream come true. That's big. Yeah. Because cause you have to realize, I don't mean to cut you off. Yes, sir. You remember that dream come true? Huh. People were signing for $25,000, $50,000, and that was a lot back then. Yeah, right, yeah. I know people. And I didn't even know that part of it because I thought it was all the same thing. No, you see what I'm no. Saying? Like, yeah. yeah, you got a good deal. Yes, sir. Thank mm -hmm. God. Yeah, mm -hmm. and thank P, you know, and thank Lo, you know, yes. minus the other shit, man. So me... I'm baby to them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all walk me in this shit, you know. Um, <laughs> true life. <laughs> I'm studying the Bible at this time. I stay one with God. I'm reading Joseph, reading Joseph dreams at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And how his brother sold him to the Egyptians from Egypt. Come on now. So that part, I walk into this type of thing. You see what I'm you saying? You think that's what's going on? That's what's going through I mean, your mind. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, from, from silver to platinum records. Oh, yeah. You got to keep in mind the body track. Body soundtrack is a platinum record. Mm. So when you ask, this was was it gold? It was platinum or four gold? Mm -hmm. By the time I came, it was a little perfect. Got a little three weeks. I'm certified gold. We talking twenty five plus years later, right now. Yeah. Now we talking ninety eight. So you know all the breakdowns and the other shit. That's the dark side shit. So I'm a wide eyed kid, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You young. I'm young. You say twenty two, twenty three. Right. I turned California wilding. Wilding. Yeah. But really not wilding. But Getting I'm saying. on the ground, but it's, you know. It's, it's in your face. It's in my face. See, it's different so, than Louisiana. Right. 
Yeah, so it's like, damn, oh shit, I can't just run, I can't call mom and run back like I'm mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. That's the, everything else, the ocean, man. What you gonna do now? Never. So, you know, like, choice with lifetime. But sad to say this, <clears throat> my only regrets to that is I'm scheduled to do seven hours. Yeah. I always, I've been writing since a kid. Yeah. So I'm seeing 10, 20 years ahead. Oh, this next album will be this year. So I got my shit, my template laid out. Yeah. I was only able to display two of them before the fall of priority took place. Mm. So it was over priority head, my head. Yeah. See what I'm saying? What I'm they do artist. with your contract? Well, <clears throat> I'm recording my third album, Vintage. Yeah. I went back independent, independent with that. Shots out to Selecto. Here's Mr. Johnny really. Phillips on Dom. Um, they and they shuffle, and they got to a freeze frame. But what I didn't want to do is wait around, and be on the shelf. Yeah. That type of shit. So I asked them what they told me. As long as you, you know, please, you know, this shit is 90% business, 10% time. As long mm -hmm. as you happy, we happy. If you ain't happy, we can talk about it, negotiate some other thing. Yeah. And shout out to Brian Turner, Howard Sadowski, yeah. kind of, uh, you know, Brian and Rob, uh, 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 Rob, that kind of shit. They honored their word and definitely, uh, uh, my, 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 man, Dave, yeah, I'm a little tipsy, but um, I, I think um, I always talk about Dave, man. Goddamn shame on Oh man, Dave over there, man, that um priority. <clears throat> they honored their word. Um Dave was like the West Coast Rick Rubin to me. Okay. Stan Smith, toe up jeans, Adidas, that's the first man get me out the plane and bring me out there and bring me up the street. Not Dave Myers, is it? No, no, not okay. Dave. Dave Wine. There we go. Dave Wine, okay. Forgive me, Dave. That's my bit. That's been my motherfucker for life over there. Right. Over years. Dave pulled me out, you know, showed me, hey bro, bleed. This is real life. This what Biggie was killed. Oh fuck. Yeah, there's a lot of stories, but <clears throat> sad to say this here, um, that happened. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm scheduled, my eyes wide open. I'm like, nigga, next seven years, I can lay on my life. I got wife, kids at the time, other kids, all mm -hmm. this. I can stretch and kind of get out this shit I'm in. Then I get the phone call one day that they folded. Mm. So I'm recording my third album, Jimi Hendrix samples. I don't care, it's supposed to be on it. Good in my album. I'm yeah. going to take it to, and all that, I had to go back independently. Now, I don't have the sample rate money. No, 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 no. So now I got to dump back down and go back independent. And it's been that kind of way for me, other than the collab. Oh, shout out to my, um, shout out to my big brother, Sebo, West Coast Mafia, yeah. Roy Jones Jr., by the head, Red to Pete the Magic. Mm -hmm. So a lot of constituents and brothers came along and aided me Keep your back flow. into the independent. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that part, so that fast. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You standing on a beautiful carpet and they slide it from it's under natural. your feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what Stevie Wonder called Rocket Love. You took me five minutes, a mile outside of heaven, and you didn't drop me back to this cold, cold Damn. world. Man. So that part. That's a scary feeling. Ah, man, you never think about that. Drop. A major folding yeah. that's got major, major, major platinum hits. Right. What I mean, fuck? that's Ooh. way over my head. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So, how's the relationship right now with Master P? Last time you spoke with him? Man, <clears throat> to be honest, for the record, and I'm going to keep it family. We hadn't saw each other and talked to each other since 2018. Okay. You, know, you go to YouTube, you know, on the tour, out of all the dates, they gave me that one date to come do one verse, man. See what I'm saying? Yes. And from there, AP, you watching the game, you come from the game, y'all grew, grew me to this game. Yeah. I told him personally, anything else, anything you need by me, bro, you didn't help me make more money than my dad has put together. I love you, respect you. Yeah. Ain't nothing if I bust my rap for you, nigga. And come on, man, I'm a yeah. true dog, my dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you and Lo got y'all thing, but man to man, I, I'm I'm like Mandela. Me and your relationship is us, Bobo. Not what Paul said, nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, this man, I'm mm -hmm. individual purpose. Now from that, call me, man. Yeah. It take me 18 years to call you. You think you think him and Lo got a situation where it's not cordial? I don't even know about that, and I'm not even interested. You're not, in it. Yeah, for real. I never was. Once I meet you and shake your hand, hey, my brother. Yeah. Whatever your business is, that's your business with him, man. Yeah. I know a lot of street nigga killers. But you know, you know how they do. A lot yeah. of niggas like uh, you're guilty by association. Yeah, guilty by, but that's that's the whole thing. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That yeah. would separate God, Christ, and whoever else. God's mm. there, everybody suck, because he ain't got time for the bullshit. The aliens don't come down here and play with you, man, because you can't fuck with my intelligence. Yes. You can come fuck with me, come fuck with me. Know hmm. me for me, not what a nigga told you. Yeah. When you look at the end of the Michael Max movie, all this shit people say, like we say with Pac, now, I wouldn't have, nah, you won't even, you ain't never talked to this dude. 
Yeah. You ain't even walk with him, ate with him. What you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't been to pimp grandma house. Get off no. the boo boo, man. Get off that boo boo shit. Get out this suck ass shit. A lot man. of niggas come out through Woolworth when people yeah, pass away. Cloud chasing, man. Cloud what chasing. What are you chasing? You still got to face God at the end of the day. If you don't believe that, life going to show you, man. Yeah, that part, so I'm, I'm real life, man. I really when I see it's less than that, you can have it. Stay out the way you ain't got You can have that shit, man. I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God bless you. But I ain't, I ain't with the other shit. Man. That's real. Yeah, That's that real. part. We're going to keep it positive. Yes, indeed. All day. Speaking of positivity. Mm -hmm. You know we at the old Texas table. Yeah, that wood. Knock on that the wood. Got your wood grave, huh? I know you're a uh, New Orleans Saints fan. Yeah, absolutely. That's all we got. So y'all yeah. got a few teams. That's all we got, man. Yeah. Yeah, what you talking about? Y'all got the Pelicans? Well, no, this is what I'm saying. Y'all got how many football teams y'all got in Texas? Oh, you mean Texas? I'm in Dallas, though, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying the whole Texas. You know, let me tell you, let me tell you something for Dallas. This too? Let me give you the truth for what you asked me, and I'm glad you asked me that. I'm going to say that for y'all, both of y'all from Dallas. You know, my first love of football, 1978 or 79, when I cut the TV on. Dallas Cowboys, America's team. Tony Dorsett, Mike. Number 33, man. Damn 99 it. yards, man. The Minnesota Vikings. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then I, I grew into Walter Payton. But Tony Dorsett, my favorite team in the world, been the Dallas Cowboys. Yes. Well, I was even on some saints. I loved our team and until the hurricane. Yeah. We ain't never won. We'll get the wild card. Yeah. Never been in the Super Bowl. One time they gave us a little, little, little taste of success. We always been a poverty when it comes to the rest of the country. Y'all get that Super Bowl, though. Look, one year, though. But let me tell you something. This is how I feel about this, y'all. What they say, three points for the, the nigga on the court, three points for the motherfucking in the car, three, yeah. three million dollars for the nigga to call back. Now, look at when we won the Super Bowl. Nobody ever think about this. Right after the Katrina. Hurricane Katrina. The city was dead. You got to cover dirt over New Orleans. After that, man, it's too many dead body the animals, people in jail. Yeah. Old ladies, how you come back from that? <laughs> Super Bowl. You think they gave it to him? If they gave it to us twice, I might have thought twice. But we ain't. To have an undefeated, what niggas had an undefeated season? Until they met the Cowboys that year. Okay. But still, paper and politics, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You supposed to at least go back to the Super Bowl, even yeah, if we yeah, lose yeah. the second one. Yeah. In, in the next three, it, five in other words, years. To make it realistic. <laughs> yeah, to make it realistic. How you going to beat the number one team and they don't show up at least the second runner? That ain't never made sense to me out the Hurricane Katrina. You think it was a setup? 9-11. Who won the Super Bowl? The Patriots? Mm -hmm. did, did you see the, the, the color of the confetti? Oh, yeah. Before the, I knew we oh, yeah, were going to win the game. Yeah. That made it about America, didn't he? Cam Newton was supposed to win, too, right? Yeah. Un untouchable. Like, what, what's going on? Paper powder cheat, Mike. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. thought about that too. Yeah, you look. I thought about that too. Is it what you say is in your face? I you, thought about I wanna, that too. What Pac said, don't look wrong, yeah. nigga. Hey, 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 Mike. It's so hard to. I used to yeah. think back then it was so hard to fix a game. Yeah. But now thinking, hey, all man. you need is the reps and the umps. Hey, study your mob history. Arnold Ross thing that fixed the World Series before we got here, man. Hey, paper mm. and politics, man. <laughs> Ooh, the Saints, that. you think of foot, the, so you saying, I ain't going to say that. Yeah. The Saints got a Fugazi title. Well, I believe. Possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Possible. Yeah, 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 I say. Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleg right. Like Allegedly. Jackie K was saying. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't Allegedly. take nothing from the players, but they no. got, the players got to play the game, right? Yeah. And they could never get back. They could never get back. With Drew Brees. With Drew Brees. Hall of Fame. Yeah. With Sean Payton. Yeah, with Sean Payton. Come on, man. That's why I don't want Sean Payton in Dallas. I said, man, this motherfucker ain't did shit. Yeah. What the fuck Drew Brees, Hall of Fame quarterback for all them years and won one Super Bowl? Yeah, how? No, not no, twice. We got that right now with Mike McCarthy. Man, uh, getting the top three or something, never yeah. again. Mm -hmm. I, 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 two mm -hmm. of them, I was ready to accept no. two and we can go home out there. It was two. <laughs> we ain't never had it. But they always putting y'all up there. Yeah. Ooh, the Saints going to do this and the Saints going to do that. Don't believe it. Y'all got a new quarterback this year. Yeah, look, you you old school like me, public enemy. Shout out to Chuck D. Chuck D, right? baby. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Chuck <laughs> D, one of my top five in the greatest, teams. man. One of the guards of the game. So Absolutely. I need you to do me a favor. That I know it looks like a Dallas Cowboys star. Yeah, I'm with that. But it's positivity. Yes, sir. That's our Apollo stump. Look. We're supposed to do it at the beginning of the interview. Yes, we sir. Can't, we, we cannot let you leave without leaving some of your positivity with us. Okay, well, I got to rub it like, yeah, like, like a DJ treat. scratch. Oh, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I keep a DJ. And look, I'm going to say this too for the record. Shouts out to our, our brother, Regis Swin. Yes. Uh, that's my that's my big dog. You mm -hmm. know, spend your ass. That's, that's family and Victor Pittman. Uh, that played for the Cowboys, I really? man. 
Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm in love with y'all. You know, this is my sucker home, Dallas, y'all, for the record. I went to H-Town in the wrong time, and rest in peace to Fat Pat in 98. Mm. I tried to uproot and move to Texas, rest like peeing them with Sugar Land yeah. and all that. But there was too much the murder oil in the city after the death of Fat Pat. You know, I kind of left the city to let it simmer down. It ain't had nothing to do with me, and I ain't want to. You know, I'm going to be right in the circle where I'm trying to get in. Man, you, man, you, man, you. If Texas ain't your really second home, it I don't is. know what it is. Look, it could have been California with your ass. Look, you stayed out there a lot. That too. It's Stitch on Tukey. Rest in peace. New Orleans on up. But my daddy, mama, mama is buried in Houston. Mm. I got found it from Houston. You know, you go around, you see certain things. Missouri City for gotcha. sure. I got I ain't T and cousins in Missouri City right I mean, now. I've been there since way back. I mean, Let me tell you the true story, and I'm going to leave it at that. If I could think back, I told you the story of my mother. <clears throat> if I got any recollection of, uh, recollection of opening my eyes in life, I was in the back seat of uh, my daddy deucing the quarters. A baby had to be, if I could remember far, but I don't remember the hospital all that. But I remember Houston and them tall ass buildings like King Kong. You look at the old King Kong. Yeah. And he see the the, the 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 two buildings in, in New York, mm -hmm. and he remember them two mountains. Yep. And far back as I can remember as a baby, if my eyes open for the first time, it's in Houston. The trash so Town. I knew one day, yeah, I'll be back <laughs> in Houston. And that's how I've been ever since. Oh, yeah. True life, man. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Houston's my second home as well. Yes, sir. I, love, I, I put them, uh, the course Dallas is, is a. Yes, sir. Houston is. B1, Port off to B2. B2, that yeah. part. About, see, you going coming this way. I'm coming your way. Yeah, we're yeah, going to head up part, in the middle. In the middle of that part, my it's brother. Well, I catch you out in Bay City. Hey, that's <laughs> Yes, sir. Bay Town, I Bay mean. Bay Town. Bay yes, Town. Yes, Bay yes. Town. Yes, sir. So since all of that mm -hmm. ripping and running, yeah, man. you've been here in Dallas. Yeah. We hooked up with Money Waters in the click. Yes, sir. Let's talk about Bunny before we go. Money? Yes. Man, look, let me tell y'all a true story about money. Ain't nothing no gimmick, man. It's true life here. I met money on some spot day tour and something me and Paula was doing. We some kind of way connected in Greenville, Mississippi, like true blues dude. I would call him Muddy Waters, and I'm, I'm like baby Robert Johnson. Yeah. So I met money, uh, him old man, and Redbone out here. Yeah. With Pookie. Yeah. You know, so we, we, we out the urban south. So we had a show together. Money come to me like a real nigga and say, say, brother, let me buy you a drink. Took me to the bar like old Blues Brother. We working on the album, y'all actually called Blues Brothers, because that's our true life. Yes. And took me from there, and he was a real, he remind me of Devin and CeeLo Green mixed together. Mm -hmm. Money Waters, man, we talking about money. And uh, he had us a drink, and he brought me to the truck, and let me let, let, me let you hear something. He played that goddamn pimpy, country fired ass, so I, man. And I fell in love with his music ever since then. And we've been brothers and been working and whooping our chemistry ever since. He became Carleone gang. Carleone family, you know, we birthed in Louisiana. But when I come to Texas, yeah. you know, my group of freelancers and guys that inspired me, shots out to um, Lava House, Free Man to Go, and, you know, Old Man Lou and all that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. I come out here, there's a few reasons I came out here, Pookie Lucci. Yes. I come out here like on a, a blank tour day and yeah. was in the club and heard Crook for Life in this motherfucker. Hmm. We know about Houston from the outside, like y'all know about New Orleans, yeah, yeah, we yeah. know about Baton Rouge. And I saw the same demographic. Yeah. And uh, I was coming out here on the weekly, man, you know what I mean? So much, you know what I mean? To well, I go home, the old lady now, I put say, baby, you must have got family out here in Louisiana. Yes, man, because you're here every week. <laughs> I come back home for a week, and they'll call me back out here. They'll yeah. spend it with me, all kind of boys, and street boys, and other. I'm from the Cliff, yeah. the Salt, yeah. you name it. I'm on the slab 23 hours. I'm trying to do two hours set and seven to nine. I'll be there a little bit over the nine. I got to be here 9 11. Yeah. I caught a pistol case here. And what kept me out of trouble, God, grace, and glory, man, uh, the boys here. And the girls, too, kept me busy, kept money in my pocket, and they kept me out of oh, other yeah. shit I could have been in. Oh, so really Dallas right. became my second home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, due to the spite of what was happening in H-Town. I all but purchased a house in H-Town. But I went off there, man, I got a headache. I tell this here, and I ain't never said this to the world. I had a headache that was like I could hear a whistle in my head. The ore in that city when Fat Pat got killed, mm. I couldn't find myself. I couldn't get confident. Like my uncle and them still out there. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. yeah. My, two of my uncles worked for rap a lot and all that. Mm -hmm. But I was at that. Damn man, I can't go talk to Scarface, Willie D. Now they mind that this shit. Oh, he fucked up. up. And I ain't from out here. Nothing against me. Yeah. But for what I'm planning and trying to do, it's the wrong time. Gotcha. Yeah, I feel yeah, you on that. that kind of shit. 
Yeah, so that part. So Texas is my love and sucker home, man, from H-Town to the D, man. Man, me and you can yeah. go on and on and on and on and on and on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ken folks. You got to come back. Oh, um, but you know, Next anytime time you, I'm here. Yeah, anytime you're here, let me know when you're coming. Yes, sir. And we're going to sit down at the wood tape, make this a regular thing. Part two. Part two. Yeah, I'm wrapping this lap. Part two, part three, part four. Oh. This your home, bro. Yes, sir. This got to be me and you. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting this Baton Rouge connection, man. Yes, sir. And you Definitely. got to you got to lead the um the way. Look, I say lead the wake and all. I still the Loch Ness monster. Uh-huh. I lead question the wake though, and all, man. Yeah. I got one question though. The people want to know. Yes, sir. How did you come up with the name Young Bleed? Right quick, man. This old dude here, my granddaddy, James Donna Good Bleed Johnson Senior, got World you. War II veteran. I'm born on day D Day. Oh, really? life, stitch for stitch. World War II, that's when Hitler ended. D-Day was the end of that war. My granddaddy was in that war. Mm. But in the street, he was a concrete layer, war veteran. Did yeah. Whatever he did as a man, but he was good to bleed. If he put these bitches on, he would they call them good bleed in the street. <laughs> so before he passed away, I knew my granddaddy looked like 100 years. But I really knew him from 74 when I'm born. He died 84, 85. He born gotcha. that leap year. You see what I'm saying? Yes, my yeah. mama and daddy. So at a certain time of that breakup time, we started off talking about broken home syndrome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Granddaddy was my papa. Gotcha. My papa was a Rolling Stone, so old English, and I had all, <sighs> he went blind. Mm. So I was the CNI dog for him, nigga. That the longest walk down the street. And Ray Charles, he played the PA. He was the ball with Ray Charles. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time with him. Like gotcha. Dr. Saber talk about his granddaddy kept him out of school sometimes. Yes. And my grandmother went to work at four five in the morning. She was a maid from a kid up. Yeah. So she gone at four or five in the morning. I'm staying over there now. Me and yeah. my little brother, my mama ain't there. He ain't going to school today. <laughs> and what he say? <laughs> they give me this old English, this white pope, this single gene, whoop, 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 hog maw, not hog maw, um, hog head cheese, nigga yeah. crackin', and we going back up the block, tobacco and all that, and they, and they get to sway. So he laced me and gave me what he can give me in life. I didn't know cataract and yes. um, glaucoma and yeah. um, cirrhosis of the liver are killing. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And before he passed, 82, 83, hey, Papa, I know what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. <clears throat> I'm going to be a rapper and I'm going to own a rucker company. He said, you're going to make it and you're going to be able to do this. And he taught me one word that stick with me forever. And I knew, I had to learn how sufficient this is for him. He said, you got to learn to do one thing. What's that, Papa? See these? Listen. They're not a listen. Important, this was gonna be to me. Headphones, yes. microphones. My daddy was a truck driver with the walkie talkie. Yeah. So when I tell a nigga, don't play with me, I'm born for this shit, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So on my granddaddy bleed, I chip off the old block. I'm gotcha. The family you the young house. bleed. The young bleed. I gotcha. That make a lot of sense. Yeah, sir. Yeah. You got some shout outs, Pimpin'? Oh, man. The whole Carleon family, the whole DF Dub, man. Texas as a, as a whole, Louisiana, the world for that matter. My big brother, Bobo. Much Come on. Love, respect, success. And God bless, man. It's been a long time coming, a long time in the making. Yes, yes. American, black American history. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Chocolate genius, man. So That's I, it, man. Anytime I'm here, bro, my Casa Su Casa, when you in BR, yes. wherever I'm at on the planet, you know, yeah, we're going to yeah. be continued. And like the man say, we, you know, we, we short time today. We're going to pick up so y'all stay tuned, man. Carly Young found a trap door built, trap door entertainment in the building. Shouts out to Bangin' 832 Radio in H Town. You know, I'm, yes, I'm on that twice a week. Let them know Just how to get in touch with you on your social Look, medias. Uh, Trapdoent.com, man. You can tap in with me. That's the official website. The Real Young Bleed on Instagram, at Real Young Bleed on Twitter, and on Facebook, um, the Young Bleed fan page, man. Other than that, man, Google me, reach out and touch somebody that knows somebody. We out here. You know what I mean? Y'all here, baby. Say, man, I got my brother in the house. Man, it's been a long time. Yes, sir. We got an unreleased song. Me, you, and Ben and Ray. Man, you know, and I ain't heard that since then. <laughs> I love to bring you. You're right, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a segment of song. Whatever we need to do, Bobo. Man, yeah, we need to put it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what the deal is. I just got the hard drive back. Okay, beautiful. That's been the problem. Okay. I just beautiful. got the hard drive back. We got to break the hard drive open and yes, pay to get it into today's technology. Let's get it on. You know, I got that whole album. Yeah, oh, let's go. Ooh, let's, let's go, up. baby. Let's go. Say, man, I got Young Bleed in the house. Oh, man, God. straight out BR. Oh, a God. real That's super God. tight guest. No, I'm a get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo. From the front seat, not no photos. 